Welcome to the first ever episode of Gravity Cancel Delights. We paid for a jingle for it, so it's it's going to be something special, in quotes. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about the Tezka reveal, our initial thoughts on that. Uh, we got the signatures, finally, so we get to take a look at those. I got scammed at BCX, and uh, I got a little story about some Jeep Wrangler destruction. Uh, but before <laughs> all that, uh, Spanky, go ahead and roll our beautiful new intro. Let's hit that jingle. Gravity Cancel Delights. Gravity Cancel Delights. Welcome all you Brawlhalla fans. Let's see what's the news with rocks and search and spank cakes. It's Gravity Cancel Delights. Man, and um, that's where that's going to go. That's where that's going to go. Uh, I've paid for many things on Fiverr. and I have to. I have- that... That one exudes the most Fiverr energy I have ever encountered. <laughs> from like, just from the the initial Fuck. buy to the final product, the whole experience was Fiverr embodied. You know what we should have done? We should have paid for a $5 one, a $15 one, a $50 one, a $100 one, and compared all of them in a video. The $5 one would have been the, the winner, for sure, for sure. All right, Rox. Uh, let's start with uh, these Tezka impressions. So uh, Tuesday dev stream, we got the initial look at Tezka, and uh, what you what were your initial thoughts? Uh, immediate disappointment. See, I knew it. I knew it. Immediate. Disappointment. <laughs> I do not give a shit about any type of wrestling. Don't care which culture. Don't care about real life wrestling. I know that's like literally your forte, and uh, <laughs> uh, you know I'm sure everyone's watched Lucha Libre at least once. Uh, that's the Jack Black movie, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Nacho perfect. Libre, not, not Nacho Libre. Libre. Yep. There we go. Yep. Uh, but really, aesthetically, I wasn't too excited. As long as as long as they don't pull an Ezio and make all the skins like the same skin, the same. Now his mask looks like a snake instead of a tiger. This one, it looks like a dragon. And his, yeah. and his gloves are black now. As long as as long as we get like good skins for it, I'll, I'll be fine. I am very hyped about gauntlets because that's all I wanted was gauntlets and boots. I can, I've been saying that since <laughs> we first saw it, the weapon at BCX, and uh, somehow just the fact that it was a luchador immediately like I didn't even think, oh yay gauntlets. I was just like, oh. Lame. See, I was the opposite. I saw I saw Boots and Gods. I'm like, uh. And then I'm like, oh, well, we got Luchador. I'm in for this. He looks exactly like King from Tekken, and I want to play King from Tekken, but I can't play Tekken. So I'm going to play King in Brawlhalla. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Uh, so I think we all knew that it was going to be Gods and Boots. It was just a matter of, like, how they did it. And I think they did it right. No uh, one wanted Lance so bad. I, I don't think there was any chance that it was ever going to be Gauntlets and... Or not going to be Gauntlets, even though I wanted Cannon so bad. But it is what it is. Uh, stats were 7 5, five, five uh, 7 on strength, 5 everything else. I like those. That's like a good spread. Hitters. Yeah, that's a really good spread. Um, now, one thing I noticed when I was watching the stream, it looks like, and you'll be able to, to, to speak to this, I think, when you have boots on, your character is higher. Like, they're taller. Yeah, and your stance is just so funny. And, like, you know, whenever you're just, like, before a weapon pickup or whatever, you're waiting on somebody to spawn, you do the thing where you just look both directions really fast? Yeah, yeah. It looks so funny on boots. I love it. That's. Does it seem like it changes the hitbox? Like, the character's, uh, or the character's hurt box? So, you gotta remember, whenever I played it, we were only using battle boots. Oh, so you couldn't you couldn't take I, the boots off? Like you couldn't go on our I mean you could throw them and go but but you got to think there's like three long tables with like 20 monitors on each yeah. table and there's like a huge line to play like nobody's going to spend a second unarmed unless they have to. Right, right. Like we're like, grab the boots. I'm curious Kick as me. to how Kick it me, will... daddy. <laughs> I'm curious as to how it will impact the hurt box on the characters, because that could change how you play against it. Yeah. Ooh, um, maybe we should uh, we should do a video with Cobalt whenever it drops. Play around with the hitboxes. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. 
so let's get into a uh, and then on Friday they they revealed the signatures. Let's uh, let's check those out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and and this is for the editor who's me for me. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit play on the video. In three, two. Down sig is th does it hit grounded? It I, looked like it hit grounded. I yep. think it, it does hit grounded, and you can like steer it too on the way up, oh, which is buddy. super cool, super cool. Down then, sig is probably my favorite though. Yeah, just because it's got of like the twirl a in the air, the spinning like uh, scissor grab, and then like the mm -hmm. Frankenstein where you don't do active input. I love all the active input on this character. Yeah, especially that the gauntlets there. Yeah, the grab. All Sides? these signatures look like they hit like trucks. Yes. The uh, the dropkick on boots is sick. Neutral sig is just... A zuri on crack. A zuri on crack. A huge Dude. shout out to... Where'd you steal this from? Oh. Milch? <laughs> Milch? <laughs> Milch? Uh, well, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll post we'll, their original video in the Oh, we'll, we'll, the we'll drop a little little subscribe there, too. Uh, so that down sig on boots, dude, that that might be my new favorite signature. The yeah. like the spinning like flip kick and then the spike on it. Oof, that's going to be so fun to hit off stage. The only thing I kind of worry about with these signatures is some of them look like the animation is really long. So in twos, you might yeah. be knocked out of the animation. Yeah. Because, like, you got to think, like, if you look back at this neutral sig, whenever it lands, it, like, here we go. You catch them, twirl, And then you down. throw. Yeah. But I'm, uh, now picture Azuri's next to that. How much Where faster. It, yeah, it's just like grab throw. Yeah, Azuri's is like, sniped you, and then you're dead. <laughs> Versus we'll see. this one, I can see get getting interrupted in twos, but we'll see how it plays out. So, Rox, day one, are you maining or not maining Tezka? Oh, the, yeah, I've been playing too much uh, Modern Warfare. I've dropped, I don't know, let me open Steam, like a hundred and hundred and twenty three hours in Warzone since it's dropped. Uh, then I've been playing a hell of a lot of Pokemon. Uh, and then on top of that, the new season of Destiny just dropped. Just did the new dungeon with Zesty last night. I've not been playing Brawl at all since I got back from BCX. <laughs> I'm just saving it all. I'm every every little time I want to play Brawl, I just put it in a little canister, and I'm just jarring that bitch up. And as soon as these boots come out, <laughs> I'm getting diamond in a week. That's how, right. that's how much I'm, I'm dedicating right, we'll to this game. Yeah, I, uh, it's not going to be a day one main for me if I really like boots. I, I, I tried to get into gauntlets. I can't do it, man. But if I really like boots, I might Bro, I might what are you talking Pesco. about? You love playing cross. Yeah, I'm not good at it, though. Um, so next uh, topic on that, do you think it comes out this week or next week? This week, next week. Or does it come out after Christmas? I think it's going to come out after Christmas because they're they're being so slow revealing everything. Yeah. Like they're like, "Hey, here's the legend. Let's walk around the, the map with boots on." And then, okay, here's the signatures, and we've not seen like the skins or anything. So I would assume it's probably going to be after Christmas. So I I agree. I, either they're going to do it uh, as a Christmas present uh, the week before Christmas, or they're going to do it the week after. So 21st or 28th is my uh, my two guesses. So. Wait, has the Christmas event started yet? Mm -mm, not yet. They uh, haven't announced say, that, so... They'll probably drop Christmas next week, this, co and then this coming week. And let then it roll two weeks, yeah. and then... Yeah, yeah, I'm on that. All right, 28th is the release, unofficially. Unofficially. All right, Rox, hit me with... I got scammed at BCX. Oh, scammed we're going to go BCX first? <laughs> so, I don't know how. I don't know if it was some, some little Swifty motherfucker putting something over top of a gas pump or if it was somebody who oh worked. i'm not gonna throw accusations that it was somebody working at like the the like the the merch booth because the only thing i ever bought while i was there was a ton of alcohol inside of um inside of uh the oh i've already lost my train of thought the galleria um, the, yeah the galleria the restaurant out there got a little bit of food there and then a, a total wine, a blaze pizza, and then the rest was DoorDash gas station and a ton of merch. I literally bought, I spent way too much money at BCX. I bought every piece of merch that they had except one, I think. 
Uh, I even bought pins. I don't even like pins. I've got them over here on the wall for whatever reason. <laughs> um, but um, I don't know when it happened. I also ate at Hard Rock with Noah and his dad. I think we talked about that on the podcast. Yeah, we, but did. we did. I get back. A few days pass. Uh, I realize that it's Friday again. I go to check my bank account because your boy gets paid on Fridays. And I was like, hold on. This is much less than I expected to see <laughs> opening my bank account. Not only because it's supposed to be payday, but because I had money in my savings account. And I look, and I've got about 50 different charges. The second that I got paid, this random, it, it charges from Ring Cellular, whatever that is. What? It, well, actually, whatever, I know what it is. I looked it up, it's like Zoom for companies but it's audio only Zoom. And I was like, what the hell? I have never heard of this company. I have no association with them. None of the businesses I've ever worked for has had associations with them. And they just drained my bank account until there was zero dollars. What? Zero dollars. I about had a panic attack. And then uh, luckily USAA was like, like they, did like a here's a credit for what was taken and they eventually figured it out but i don't know if it was like a gas station pump that had like have you ever seen the videos of like the little yeah. green pucks they'll put over top i don't know how but it something happened in atlanta i don't know what but i and got scammed do you use so your debit card money. uh hell yeah okay all right. I'm, see, I'm not a debit card user, and I've never. Oh, had you're that a issue. cash guy, aren't you? I, I'm credit, credit man, credit all day. Mm. Yeah, because then I could have just charged. It would have taken me three hours to go through every single yeah, charge. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, and the audacity of asking someone over the phone, "Are you so you did not authorize?" It? <laughs> there are 50 charges that happen within a second of each other. That's not even humanly possible for me to do. <laughs> but no, like, I didn't authorize that. I, I had already spent too much at BCX, especially with this goofy little tattoo I got. But, like, I'm talking, like, I don't want to get too into it, but, like, thousands of dollars just gone. Just dude, that, that is my biggest fear, man. Vanished. And I was like, ah! That is oh my Lord. biggest fear. Christmas I, is coming up. What's going when, on? When I sold my house and, like, I, I saw more money in my bank account than I've ever thought mm -hmm. I would ever see. I'm just like, what do I do with this? I'm like, I'm like, what what do I do? I don't I don't know what to do with this. And then you I buy just, Blue Mammoth games. I check it religiously. I'm like, all right, all right, this money's still there. This money's still there. I'm just like, I, I need to find a safe spot for it, you know. You buy Blue Mammoth, you buy crypto. Done. <laughs> all right, so another. I had a. I have so many stories, and I. I um, we're, we're doing this thing called story time where we fun facts and story time fun facts and story time uh, and I've been thinking of a bunch of different little stories and I've been struggling like did I tell this on the podcast once because usually at the end of the podcast I've had a couple beers and like I'll just go off on a tangent about something random um, but I was in the shower and I was like oh here's a good one so um, the whole I'm point of this series is to be quicker than the podcast uh, something easier to digest if you don't have a whole hour, hour and a half to sit down and just get to know us a little bit more. Because at the end of the day, me and Spanky here, we barely know each other. <laughs> uh, and we've been doing this for well over a year now. But uh, I started off uh, my sales career about a decade ago selling Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram vehicles. Uh, I was more of the Ram guy. Uh, being, a, being a Mustang driver, I wasn't very good at selling Challengers because... I don't lie to people when they when they're like, "Oh yeah, is this the fastest sports car on the market?" Absolutely not. <laughs> slow as a turtle. Do not buy this. Go to the Ford dealership. <laughs> but uh, I was the Jeep expert. I had a bunch of little pins. I took extra classes. Went to like off-site stuff to learn. And I had all these like little metal pins. Here I go talking about pins again. That said like Jeep expert this year, Jeep expert this year. And I'd put them on my my blazer and I'd wear my little bow tie. I had a little handlebar mustache when I sold cars. It was awesome. <laughs> But um, I remember this one time, uh, I had a customer custom order a new JL Wrangler, which is that new body style, a little bit mm -hmm. more futuristic that came out in like 20, hit the lots in like 2017, yeah. something like that. But I uh, had a customer custom order one, and 
they were brand new so the order the order banks were like really long wait list but he ordered it exactly how he wanted it it's coming on the truck it takes about six months to get there and as a, <laughs> as a little a car salesman trying to pick up crumbs off the floor just to give me money give me money six months waiting for one single sale is already oh, asking yeah. the world most people don't even last in the car business six months but uh, it, it's finally on the way. Truck's gonna be here today. Truck pulls up, and I notice that there's a crowd gathered around the truck. It's only got one Wrangler on it on the very top, because I guess it's like dropped cars off at other lots. Um, and like the last stop was our Chrysler dealership. So I was like, why? Like it's just a, a lime green Wrangler. We've got three of them on the lot, just not this exact configuration. And I walk out there. You don't know what this motherfucker did, this truck driver. And I walk <laughs> up, and he's laughing his ass off. He oh, thinks it's no. the funniest thing in the world. Do you know what an R.J. Corman bridge is? I don't have the slightest clue. So <laughs> R.J. Corman is, uh, if you live like anywhere near Kentucky, Ohio, West Virginia, I don't know, maybe it's a full U.S. thing, and, and a certain somebody's just lived out in the desert too long, and there's not a lot of bridges in the desert. But it's just overpasses that are like little they're always red but rj corbin is like the the train company oh and, okay and they're yeah, really yeah, yeah yep so this wrangler is let me find something that looks kind of like a, a vehicle so imagine that this is this right here is the truck i know you can't see this spanky but i actually can i'm, I'm watching oh, you your can. stream <laughs> so so there's there's a ramp right here and the yeah. wrangler's up here and the very top here is the windshield of this Wrangler. So this man, I guess he just didn't feel like planning his route out very well, but he smacks the top of this Wrangler and just rips it clean off of a custom like $65,000 Rubicon that I had a customer wait six months for. Just shredded the top off of it. And then we were just like, oh no. this!" And he thought it was the funniest thing in the world. I wanted to fight this guy in the parking lot, but he's way bigger than me. Oh my gosh. Um, but I'm glad you brought up um, the fact that you can see me at my screen still because I got another thing about Wrangler destruction. Okay. So uh, I'm going to have a hoot editing this because I'm sure there's stuff that I have to like block out. Right. Not that it's important because I've not worked here in half a decade. But um, see this gas station right here? Mm hmm. So this road right here uh, goes throughout the entire. Actually, you know what? I'm going to say it's in Lexington anyway, so if anyone looks up Lexington, they'll know exactly what this is. But it's a big old circle. It's called New Circle Road. And oh, there's, a, there's a, yeah, very creative. But it goes around all of Lexington. So this is the one sketchy part of this road. Behind this gas station, uh, I won't say the name of the place, but that is where like all the drugs come out of. <laughs> and it's pretty sketchy. So here is a dealership. So this right, this image right here is not giving it justice. How big this like ramp oh, is, no. right? So right here we had a bunch of brand new Wranglers parked, probably about oh, ten of them. No. So at about three a.m. one morning, <laughs> a fine lady was at this gas station pumping gas, doing what you do at a gas station at three a.m. I don't know the story. I don't know who she was, who she pissed off. But there was a guy stationed about right here, right here, over here, and over here. Like four guys with guns. As she got to this light, just started lighting up her car. She was perfect. She ended up perfectly fine, but she panicked. There was like 20 bullet holes in this car. She what? drove across the street, launches over top of this. Do you want to know why this pole looks brand new? Because <laughs> it is. Because it is. <laughs> Destroys this pole destroys like six Wranglers. She was fine, thankfully. And then, then these guys just were like, okay, well, that's a little bit above my pay grade. I was just, <laughs> I was just trying to teach somebody a lesson, not uh, get into a legal battle with a car dealership. So they <laughs> ran back wherever. And then I, I pulled in right here, pulled my happy ass in right here. And I was like, what the fuck happened here? And there's my Wrangler destruction story. You were were you like the first guy in the lot that day? <laughs> oh hell no! I'm I'm always the last guy. If I got to be there at 10 a.m., I'm there at 10:01. <laughs>
So, of course, there was yet again a big crowd right there. But, uh, yeah, there's uh, Wrangler Destruction story. Wrangler Destruction, man. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in to Gravity Cancel Delights Episode 1. Learning about Tezka, learning about Wrangler Destruction, a little bit about car sales. Rox, hit what? us with that uh, that jingle again. Uh, before we do, uh, oh, okay. d d d d d like, uh, tell us if you like this video, if you hated this video, if I should wear my hat front ways, if... Uh, uh, we're too bald. I don't know. Tell us feedback, please. Comments. All right, hit us with a jingle. Boom. Gravity cancel delights. Gravity cancel delights. Welcome to.